Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, of course doing my walk and talk again on the beautiful beach here in Phuket, Thailand. I wasn't there for Saturday, I wasn't there on Sunday, sorry for that, I couldn't do the AMAs, I was just a little bit time off, let's say that, I had a weekend. Now, today, of course, four amazing Bitcoin charts, and yes, of course, also talking about the news, of course, also some travel advice and some live advice, guys, yes. Let's quickly jump into the first part of the video, the charts, because you want to know when we are going to break 40K. So let's see what the charts have to say. Bam. Of course, starting with the day chart today again, guys. Look, we are at a beautiful price of 37,500-ish level. Uh, we can see a small red candle now starting to be built because we are trying to break the top of the Bollinger Band already for a couple of days, I like almost two weeks, but we don't succeed at the moment in breaking 38k levels. Um, will this not happen? I do think it's going to happen because I saw a lot of posts that the US dollar liquidity is increasing, which means they are printing money again, which means if the money printer is turned on, then the amount of money worldwide will increase, which also will flow into Bitcoin and which will push Bitcoin up as well, as you've seen in the couple of charts I share with you now for the last couple of weeks that yes the m2 is almost always pushing also the bitcoin price up if the money will be printed so uh, the day chart yeah you know mixed signals sell buy because it's still moving slowly towards that 38k level i really believe that we are going to break that 38k level and even go into the 40k levels again before we see another dip in bitcoin guys now let's quickly jump into some more interesting charts this is a very interesting chart this is showing you the uh, bitcoin price is of course the black line and the blue line is a network difficulty so that's the difficulty of the miners um, and it has only been going up throughout the whole bear market so the network difficulty has only increased throughout the bear market which is very important because that means it becomes more difficult and difficult and difficult to mine bitcoins which means as well that the bitcoin price will be going up accordingly guys that happens every time again Whenever the network difficulty is increasing, yes, we will see a price increase as well in Bitcoin. Very interesting. Then we have this beautiful chart, guys. This is the Bollinger Band phases in the monthly time frame. So every candle is a month. And yes, we can see that there always is that midline of the Bollinger Band. You can see the midline is yellow on this chart. The moment we are down below that midline, guys, that is the bearish moment. That's where the bear market is. That's mostly phase one, as you can see, um, that red part. Then when we start to break that midline, that is phase two, guys. We are above the Bollinger Band. That is phase two, but that means phase one of the bull market. And the moment we stay above that midline, that is phase three. That is the completely steep bull market. Look, for example, at the previous uh, bull market. We were down below that Bollinger Band, that was phase one. That's in 2019, guys. Then we came a little bit above it, and then we went down below it again during that COVID crash. Now, the moment we stayed above it, we went into phase three. That was the steep growth in the Bitcoin price. So this chart is beautifully showing you how that has played out for the previous two, even three bull markets, if you look onto this chart. Now look to where we are at the moment. We had phase one, we were down below that midline, that is that red area, and now we broke that midline, that's phase two, so we took the candles above the midline of the Bollinger Band, and we are slowly now moving towards phase three, which will be that ultimate pump again in Bitcoin. The pump as big as that wave that just hit me. Beautifully how this chart is showing you again and again and again, how this is playing out with the beautiful Bollinger Band in a monthly time frame then of course we have the beautiful rainbow chart again this rainbow chart is showing you that we are leaving the basically fire sale we are leaving that area that darkish blue lightish blue area we are slowly starting to move into these greenish areas and that's the areas of buy accumulate and still cheap so yes you didn't catch the bottom you didn't catch the fire sale but you're still able to buy accumulate Bitcoin in a very cheap way because there will be a moment we will move, we will move towards that orange red area. 
and orange red area will be is this a bubble FOMO intensifies sell serious sell maximum bubble territory that is where you sell when the line goes into that orange red area these moments when we are entering that small green face on the charts that is the moment you should start to buy and if you look now back onto the charts you can see that every time when we started to break that green area there was a massive run after so don't be fooled this time is not going to be different this time is going to be exactly the same we will move into green we will move into yellow we will move into orange and we will move towards that red area guys very simple chart but you should be buying bitcoin now we had this chart as well there's the bitcoin distribution at halving and we can see that during the halving of 2012 the bitcoin price moved somewhere between 16 and 32 dollars and the bitcoin halving 2016 most bitcoins were held between 250 and thousand dollars so the biggest part of the bitcoins were bought in that area between 250 and thousand dollars now if we look now at 2020 the biggest part of those bitcoins was bought between 4,000 and 16,000 US dollars. And now in 2024, the biggest part of the bitcoins is bought uh, between 16,000 and 65,000 US dollars. Very simple. And I think after this, the biggest part of the amount of bitcoins is going to be bought between 65 and 500,000 US dollars. And that will be the next halving in 2028, guys. That is how the Bitcoin distribution is working around those halvings. So don't be fooled. This is always playing out perfectly till now. So why would it stop? Please let me know down below. I really love this chart. Do pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more. Then we have the percentage of Bitcoin in profit. At the moment, 86% of the Bitcoins is in profit. That is that yellow dot that is being created now completely on the right side of the chart. The yellow dot, 86% of the Bitcoins is in profit. There is no selling pressure. And if you look towards the left on the chart, every time when the first yellow dot appeared, what happened after that, we only went up higher, higher and higher. There will be red dots again, guys, and that's when 100% will be in profit. And that's when the bull market is on full steam on beautiful chart and that was also the last chart i hope you really enjoyed the charts guys and of course the charts again telling you to buy bitcoin we are still in this pre-halving bull market phase which means you're still buying bitcoin at a very beautiful cheap price and soon guys the time will be there that we won't see below 40k levels again for a very long time yes in the next bear market 2026 or 27 maybe we can see those levels again to 40k or 30k but if we break 40k towards the halving guys that means that we are going to go into that massive bull run and it will take about 12 months before we will go below that 40k again so if you want to enjoy those 12 months in euphoria and beautiful feelings of profit then you should be buying bitcoin now don't buy the top buy the bottom at least near the bottom the bottom was already there 16k you already doubled the bottom you should be buying now okay now let's jump into the trading tip the trading tip for today guys is always use a journal document all your trades when was your long when was your short when was your stop loss what was your take profit document everything because if you're a beginner you need to have that document that journal to see what you did wrong and what you did right so always when you start as a trader in this industry document all your trades because that is how you teach yourself again what to do better the next time or what not to do the next time so my trading tip for today buy yourself just beautiful journal or maybe do it in excel but keep track on your trades so you educate yourself on what you're doing right and wrong let's jump into the next part The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one, but this comes very handy uh, when you have dirty shoes. Often when you're traveling, like you're backpacking, you're hiking, and you're walking a lot, and your shoes or your flip-flops can be very dirty. And a lot of people then want to clean them, but sometimes you don't have water to clean them. So what is then the solution? Use a shower cap to put your shoes or flip-flops in. So always have these small packages from the hotels that you, if you arrive in Bangkok, you stay in a hotel, 
take these small shower cap packages and never let them there in the shower but take them with you because they can be the perfect bag to hide your dirty shoes so you take your shower cap you put the shoes in you put them in your bag and your clothes don't get dirty as well so, so the travel tip for the day guys is a shower cap is not only for your head it's also to hide your dirty shoes so that was a travel tip let's jump into the next part The question for today, guys, was by a follower that was asking, Didi, can you advise me what will happen if there is a worldwide power outage or, for example, because of the power outage, lack of internet? Can we then still use Bitcoin? So my answer is very simple. If we will have a worldwide power outage, can you then still use your debit cards or your bank cards? How do you pay with your fancy bank card when there is a power outage? You can't use them anymore because they are also internet based. So there is no difference if you hold your capital in banks or in Bitcoin, if there is a power outage, there's less possibilities to use it, of course. But then again, Bitcoin is one of the greenest forms of assets, which means the Bitcoin mining that's being done in a green way by using water or by using solar power or by using wind will continue because that doesn't need any electricity. So the mining will always be happening as long as we keep it green and we are one of the greenest industries of this world. The whole shift that we heard like four years ago, Bitcoin is bad for the environment, that's completely shifting. There was even a news article now that they are gonna use all that, those trash piles now to burn them and use that heat to mine Bitcoin again, to make everything clean, etc. Banks will be completely shut down. There is no possibility for the banks to continue the system. On the other hand, Bitcoin will continue maintaining the blockchain because we have full green energy when it comes to the Bitcoin blockchain. Even if only one, even only one Bitcoin miner keeps up and running in a green way, the blockchain will keep maintained. And the moment these other miners will come up again, yeah, they will be synchronizing with that one Bitcoin blockchain that, that continued up and running because it was a green one. So that's a completely different setup than all the banks. Because just imagine a power outage. Not one bank would be able to operate anymore. And even worse, not even operate anymore, there's no synchronization anywhere. Nothing is possible. The only thing that would be possible to use at that moment is cash or maybe physical gold or bitcoins. Because bitcoins can also be transacted with your iPhone. And your iPhone can be charged by solar energy, wind energy, water energy. And aside of the internet guys that we use to transact bitcoin, bitcoin can also be transacted by radio waves. So there's many possibilities. There will be multiple solutions in the future, but if it comes to a power outage or uh, the lack of internet, then Bitcoin will be outperforming the traditional financial markets tremendously. We don't need power for Bitcoin because we have green energy, sun, wind, water. The Bitcoin miners will continue mining processing the transactions because we can continue just by using the sun, the wind and water. That won't be possible for your banking system. So my question now to you is, why the fuck would you still keep money on your banking system knowing this? Knowing that if there will be a power outage, your complete bank account will be wiped. You won't be able to use it because they are not green at all and it's not synchronized worldwide so you won't be able to use it outside of your country for example and the only thing that you then can do is use for example your cash money but if you're not able to withdraw your money from the bank because they don't have internet how are you going to get access to that cash money impossible so for me guys the answer is very simple you should be all in bitcoin bitcoin is the safest store of value slash asset that you can use to do payments that there is in this world fiat currencies can't compete anymore they are behind that's technology from like the middle ages why are you still using the technology from the middle ages if you already have the technology of the 21st century that yes will be able to protect your capital even when there is a power outage or we are losing the internet it's simple as that don't be afraid. Be afraid of your money on the banks. Because if those have an outage, you don't have access. And to be honest, you have already multiple times experienced a bank outage. Yes, you know when those yellow machines in the Netherlands don't function anymore, that outage? Yeah. And so what are you doing then? You're stuck. You can only use your cards. 
And those cards can only be used and processed if there is internet and power. So please stop believing in the traditional financial system that is still from the Middle Ages and start believing in this new technology of the 21st century that is 10,000 times better than the old one. Bitcoin is an improvement of the monetary system. It's the evolution of money, but then the evolution of money times 10 in a couple of years time already. As a Bitcoin community, we are going to outperform traditional assets in such a big way that people will start to forget about traditional assets. They will never use those shit coins anymore. If you're talking about shit coins, the only big shit coins in this world are your fiat currencies. These are the biggest shit coins in the world. They are printed out of thin air, there is nothing backing them, and if we will have a power or internet outage, you won't be able to use them. Fucked up system. Start to trust Bitcoin. Let's jump into the next part. Let's jump into the news, guys. The news, again, terrible news for the United States of America, at least for the people living in the United States. It's not the land of the free and the brave anymore. I think it's turning into this land of the cowards and like the modern digital enslavement. I don't know how to express myself other than that because there is no freedom at all. That Statue of Liberty should be taken back by France into Europe again because why would you have a Statue of Liberty if there is no freedom at all? Because what happened now in the United States they're taking down the Wallet of Satoshi app from uh, the App Store and yes, also from the Google Play Store because yes, American people are not allowed to transact Bitcoin through the Lightning Network. So yes, US Apple Store is deleting the Wallet of Satoshi, Google Apple Store in the United States also deleting the Wallet of Satoshi. This is not freedom anymore, guys. Wallet of Satoshi was doing 1 million transactions in the United States only in November. Just because all of the regulations and that whole monetary shit show that the United States is pushing on their people over there. You won't be able to trade anymore, you won't be able to buy Bitcoin anymore, you won't be able to use Bitcoin anymore as transactions. And I know, yes, I'm hurting the feelings now of 16% of my followers, because 16% of my followers or views of these videos come from the United States. So my question to those 16% of people that I am very thankful for or to that you're watching my videos, but my honest question to you guys is, why do you still live in this country or why do you still accept all of these things that they are now doing? They are now fucking banning Bitcoin, the technology of the 21st century, one of the biggest technologies of the 21st century, and they're gonna try to ban it from whole United States or at least take it away from all the poor and normal people of the United States to become filthy rich again themselves, those rich that already are rich. Why are you allowing your government to do this? Why are you not like protesting, standing up, whatever, fighting for your freedom, really fighting for your freedom? Why are you not all doing this? Why do you let them treat you as if you're a baby that's not capable of making their own decisions? If you want to trade Bitcoin, trade Bitcoin. If you want to buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. If you want to be able to transact Bitcoin, transact Bitcoin. I really don't understand what is wrong with the people in the United States that they accept all of this modern slavery nowadays. I am really thankful that you guys are watching my videos, but I really just don't understand why you all accept this. This is not, this is, this is not okay. This is not okay, definitely not okay. You should be able to do whatever you want with your money whenever you want and send it to whoever you want. You're, you're completely being digital enslaved, in my honest opinion, and that's not good. But yeah, that's my honest opinion. And I have easy talking here, walking on the beach in Phuket, Thailand. But I just want to have your response down below the video. Why are you as a normal person in the United States not allowed to use Bitcoin to its full potential. I want to know your answer down below this video. I really want to know your answer. Why are you not allowed to use Bitcoin to its full potential in the United States of America? Please educate me. The sun is becoming very bright, so I'm going to stand like this, guys. The news for today leads into this next beautiful quote. You may think that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. 
One day you will probably join us and we will live the world as one. I think it's a very interesting quote if you hear this news. Because a lot of you guys think that I'm really a dreamer. You think Bitcoin is never going to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash. Bitcoin is never going to be the store of value that it promises to be. I know a lot of people are thinking this. I know a lot of people think that I'm a big dreamer. But I'm thinking the opposite. I'm thinking that you are living a nightmare and that you're not waking up from that nightmare. I think you are addicted to that nightmare and that you don't want to wake up out of that nightmare. That's the difference probably between a lot of people and me. Maybe I'm a dreamer, but I prefer to dream than live a nightmare. It's very honest. As long you keep your money on your bank accounts, centralized entities, they will be in control. The moment you start to use our money, Bitcoin, you will take back that control. And you might say that is a big dream, but that dream is coming true for a lot of people all over the world. People in El Salvador, soon people in Argentina, people in Switzerland, people all over the world are using Bitcoin the way they should be using it. They are using Bitcoin as a store of value and a peer-to-peer -peer cash. So what is there to dream about yet? The dream, yes, when I started in 2013, it was a huge dream for Bitcoin to become a peer-to-peer -peer cash. It was a huge dream for Bitcoin to go above $1,000 or even $5,000. But we are way past that area. We are now living in the 21st century where Bitcoin is being adopted all over the world. It's not a dream anymore. It came true. Bitcoin increased tremendously in value. Bitcoin is becoming a legal tender in multiple countries. Bitcoin is a store of value, not only for the normal retail people like you and me, but also for the institutions, like for example, MicroStrategy. And soon, for thousands of institutional investors because of the spot ETF. And yes, that spot ETF will be approved in my honest opinion. And then you can't refer to me anymore as a dreamer then you can only refer to yourself as a sleeper. You have been sleeping all that time. Why didn't you wake up when we were calling you to wake up? I've been shouting this message now already since 2017, every day where I walked on the beach or wherever I was walking. I told you already to buy Bitcoin when it was a few hundred dollars. I told you to buy Bitcoin when it was $3,000. I told you to buy Bitcoin when it was $5,000. I told you to buy Bitcoin when it was $10,000, $15,000 and $20,000. I've been telling you millions of times to buy Bitcoin and you still kept saying, I am a dreamer. Wake up. Wake up out of that nightmare that you're living because it's not a dream anymore. Bitcoin is the only solution to live in a freedom way when it comes to monetary assets. All the rest of those centralized assets, fiat currencies, that are being printed out of thin air, that is the nightmare that's creating inflation towards you guys. That is why your life is slowly becoming unaffordable. You can't pay for the normal lifestyle anymore that you always were used to pay because your money is undergoing inflation. It's devaluating. You can buy less for $1 now than you bought last year and way less than you bought 10 years ago for $1. And that is because you are sleeping and you don't want to wake up out of that traditional monetary system nightmare on Elm Street that you're living in. Wake up. Please educate yourself. Please look at the fundamentals of Bitcoin. Please read the white paper and understand why Bitcoin is changing the complete monetary system worldwide by that essentially democratizing money decoupling money from the state the first time in history was being able to be used by anyone out there that has access to a telephone a laptop or any other electric device that's able to transact bitcoin that's a huge shift in the monetary system that was seen as a dream in 2009 and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 but it's not a dream anymore guys it's happening all over the world, Bitcoin adoption is taking place. So please, you stop dreaming. 
you stop living a nightmare, you start to wake up and you start to buy Bitcoin today because in my honest opinion, that's the only way you will be able to protect your wealth, but also create generational wealth and keep protecting the generational wealth. And so the next generations will still be able to live comfortably because you did the right thing. That is why you should start to buy Bitcoin, guys. And that is also the end of the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video again a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the other information? What do you think about that last part that I talked about, the dollar, freedom, Bitcoin, and all the rest? Please leave comments as YouTube loves it when you leave a comment. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Yes, on a beautiful daily video.